Now as you can see guys, I uploaded the backdoor.exe file to antiscan.me and it got detected by only one antivirus. Hello everyone, Iktus here, back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to generate an interpreter backdoor that is fully undetectable and we're also going to encrypt it with a Python encryptor. I would like to point out that I'm not responsible for any of your actions. This video is made specifically for educational purposes only. Do not use the information in this video to harm anyone. Before we start with today's video, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because this tells me that you guys are enjoying the content and because this really helps me out a lot. So without further ado, let's get started. I have created this GitHub repository that will guide you through this process. So first, let's clone this GitHub repository. I have already opened my terminal here. So let me copy and paste this command over here. Great, so we have cloned the repository. Now we need to cd into that. Great, so now we need to generate the cell code. And if you don't know what a cell code is, a cell code is a small piece of software used as the payload in the exploitation of a software vulnerability. It is called cell code because it typically starts a common cell from which the attacker can control the compromised machine. But any piece of code that performs a similar task can be called a cell code. So essentially, what we're going to do with this cell code is add that to a C++ executable and that executable is going to execute the cell code which in our case is our backdoor. So let me copy paste this msf venom command and let me paste it down to my terminal. All I need to change here is the port. I will add port 4444 and add the IP address of my machine. Please make sure to add your own IP address here and the port that you want to use on the listener. So let me enter this and let's give this some time to run. Now, as you can see, it says that the cell code has been saved as raw.txt. Now we can move to the next step. Our next step is to encode the cell code with the XOR encryption. So this Python script will take our raw.txt output and it will encrypt it with the XOR encryption. And on our C++ executable, we're going to decrypt this cell code and then run it. So now we can copy this and paste it right here. So this did successfully run and it saved our output to the XOR shellcode.txt. And we can actually confirm that if we cut the result. And as you can see, we get the encrypted shellcode. Now let me clear my screen and let's go back to these steps. The next thing that we need to do is to add the encrypted shellcode on main.c++. So it says over here that we need to add it on the comment of that file. So what I'm going to do is open a leaf pad on main.cpp and do the same thing for the XOR cell code. So I'm going to select everything from here, copy, and now go back to the main.cpp and paste it right here. Now all I need to do is to save the file and we're done. We can close this and also close this. Now all that's left for us to do is to get the main.cpp file and compile it to get an executable. Now over here I've got a link that will get you to a page that will show you how to compile C++ code to an executable. But I already have an application on my Windows machine that will do just that. Now the last thing I'm going to do on my Kali machine is run leafpad on main.cpp again and copy everything from here. Now the tool I'm going to use is dev C++ and I'm going to leave a download link in the description of this video so you can download the file and install it. So I'm going to run the application. Now I need to go to file, new, project select Windows application and I'm going to call this backdoor. Make sure you select C++ project 
and click OK. I'm going to save this on my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this cell. So let's save it here and select save. Now you'll get this code over here but you can remove this and what you need to do is paste the code that we got from Kali before. So this is all the code. Now all we need to do is go up to execute and compile. We're going to say that we want to call the file name main.cpp and let's save this. Now as you can see the process executed successfully and if we go to cell over here we can see that our file got compiled. Now let's go back to the Kali machine and let's start our listener. I'm going to use exploit multi handler. I'm also going to set the payload to the one we used to generate the cell code. I'm also going to set the stage encoder to the same we used over here. And set the L host and the L port. Now I can confirm that everything is correct with show options and the last thing I need to do is run the listener. Now that this is running we can go back to my Windows machine and I can execute the backdoor. Now as you can see it got successfully executed and if I go back to my Kali machine we can see that we've got a meterpreter session that opened and I can run and now I have full control over the target machine. I can run anything, I can get all the passwords, I can execute any command that I want, I have full control. But now the important thing is how undetectable is this backdoor? Now as you can see guys I uploaded the backdoor.exe file to antiscan.me and it got detected by only one antivirus, which is great. We have an almost fully undetectable backdoor. Chances are that your target is not going to use this specific antivirus, so I think this is okay. That is it for today's video, I hope you learned something new, and I'll see you guys on the next one.